With Modbus being such an old protocol, why is it still so widely used in industrial automation? It's a good question. Um, I, we hear that a lot, um, or we get asked that quite a bit. And um, in my view, it's used so often still to this day, even though it's such a mature protocol, because it's just so easy to implement. I mean, if you look at other industrial protocols and what it takes to implement those, um, it takes a lot more effort. When you think about the specification for Modbus, the specification is a 50 page specification. You look at some other industrial protocols and they have thousands of pages of specifications. So it's just an easy protocol to implement. And that's one of the main reasons vendors choose to provide Modbus on their devices. Cool. So are people phasing out Modbus RTU because it's a slow serial protocol? Yeah, that's a good question. We hear that too, that um, people are phasing out Modbus because it's it's slow. And when, when I hear that, um, I think slow is a relative term. What might be slow to somebody might be plenty fast for someone else. Take, uh, take monitoring, for instance. You know, if you have a, a tank form out there and you're just monitoring the level of these tanks that really doesn't change that often or that rapidly, then Modbus is easily fast enough to monitor those tanks. I'll give you an example. Let's say this Modbus master is reading 50 floating point values from a device. What well, can get updates to those 50 floating point values five times a second? So that's plenty fast for most tank level, tank monitoring applications, at least the ones I'm aware of. So, um, you know, when we hear people say Modbus is slow. Yeah, it's all in the eyes of the beholder. It might be slow for some, might be plenty fast for others. One place we do see it being phased out is because in the infrastructure of a particular operation, a plant, a, a facility, what have you, is, is that they don't have the wiring for it. And they have wiring for, for Ethernet. So you have the Cat5, Cat6, 7 wiring and you don't have the serial wiring, which Modbus might require, Modbus RTU. And so in that sense, it is being phased out just because it's easier to implement one of the other industrial protocols. It could be Modbus TCP, it could be Ethernet IP, Profinet, EtherCAT, one of the other industrial Ethernet protocols. Sounds good. So I know our next question is, with a full duplex network like RS-232 or four wire RS-485, um, will using that speed up Modbus RTU communications? No, no. Um, yeah, we get that a lot too. That, that, that's actually a, a pre-sale question that we get in support. And it might speed it up a little bit now because you have devices that can transmit and receive at the same time, but Modbus protocol in general, it's a, it's a half duplex protocol, meaning that only one device talks at a time. The, the, the master asks for information, the request responds. So it's a half duplex protocol. What Modbus or what 45 four wire provides, it provides a um, full duplex protocol, meaning that both devices can send and receive at the same time. Well, Modbus is inherently an asynchronous protocol, meaning that only, you know, a device doesn't do anything unless it's asked to do something. So when we hear people using RS-45 for wire, it might speed it up a little bit, but nothing, nothing that um, you're gonna really benefit from. Mm -hmm. One thing we do get asked quite a bit is when somebody has a relatively large network, they think that maybe RS-45 four wire will help them with that. And so we tell them no, but what we do tell them is that we have a four port protocol gateway. And what they can do there is they can segment their networks. So now if they have, I don't know, 20 devices on a single RS-45 network, well now they can break that up into multiple networks, which will speed up their data. Good to know. And our last question is, you know, I've heard people say that Modbus TCP IP isn't fast enough for motion applications. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, Modbus TCP, it's been used for, I don't know, 20 plus years now. And when it first came out, you know, there weren't these other industrial Ethernet protocols. And 
the whole time it's been doing motion applications and to this day it's used in motion applications so i'd say that that it's not entirely true that modbus tcp isn't fast enough for motion applications but i will say that there are probably better industrial ethernet protocols that are more suited for motion applications one thing with modbus tcp is that it's not deterministic and deterministic is a term used in industrial automation basically to describe data leaving from one device and when it gets to where it's supposed to get. So for instance, if I'm a controller on a network and I ask for a piece of information and that piece of information is on Modbus TCP, I don't know when I'm getting that data back. I mean, I have a pretty good idea, but not 100% sure. Well, with other industrial ethernet protocols, there's a thing called determinism. And you know, down to the millisecond, sometimes down to the microsecond, on how long it's gonna take a piece of data to get from one device to another device. Yep, awesome. Thanks, Chris.